welcome back to this channel i hope you're healthy and safe i was wondering while we are on the topic of list should we not do a challenge or an exercise and that's just to improve our skills with list so I'll show you what the challenge is. I want to create a new file. I'll save it as this challenge on my desktop and always remember to name it as .py. Now, I was thinking, what if, say we have three lists, so list one has, or maybe, let's say, friends. Friends are Peter, Arya, Tom, and say Emily. Now, I have some friends and maybe I have some enemies as well. Well, I hope not in reality, but just for the sake of this challenge, let's say I've got some friends and some enemies. So my enemies are, say, um, Thanos. say vulture let's say ultron do we have any more enemies um thinking of more let's say Loki And let's say I've got a temp file. Stem file is one, two, three, four. So it's just a list of four integers. Now what I want is by the end of this challenge, by the end of this challenge, I want my enemies to be my friends and my friends to be my enemies I also don't want anything in them now how is that possible Also, I am only allowed to use list functions for this exercise challenge. Okay, so 
by the end of this challenge I want my enemies to be my friends which means all of these should be in friends and all of my friends should be in enemies and all of this temp should be cleared so I don't want anything like that so let's first start with that so what I will do is I'll go temp let's just print temp first okay, so let's say print temp now let's see what we get we get one two three four because that's what's that is what we have currently in temp okay let me clear this now how about I clear it now like that and if you remember from list functions list dot clear removes remove all items from the list so what if I do this and then run it you can see now when I'm printing them it's nothing in it so it's clear so this part I also don't want anything in temp that's pretty much done however friends and enemies are still how they were so it's not solving the whole problem which means even though temp is empty right now we can use it to change these values and it's a simple mathematical riddle if you have two um, candy jars and you want to transfer the contents of one jar to another and the second jar jars content to the first jar the only way you can do it is is to have another jar so you transfer the contents of jar jar one to empty jar contents of jar 2 to jar 1 and then contents of the old empty jar to jar 2 and I'll show you that via list here so let's say now what I do is I go to temp dot so these are all functions of temp oh, sorry for for list which you can see here how about I use append I say append and I say Peter then I do temp dot append and then I do Mario I'm just gonna copy these two and instead of Peter I'll type Tom instead of Emily I can just type blah and now if I print Tom let me just comment this here What's going to happen now? Append add an item to the end of the list, which means temp was empty. So, first item that we are adding is Peter, then we are adding Mario. So, Mario gets added after Peter, and Tom gets added after Mario, and Emily gets added after Tom, which means if I Print it now, I get the exact same list as friends. And temp is full now. So this is temp, and if I print friends for you, you can see they are exactly the same now.
say them and friends are exactly same at this moment so we have transferred the contents of box one to the empty box which means box one is now empty or we can just empty it it's not empty automatically we have to empty it which means we need to do friends dot clear let's print friends again so see friends was this and now it's all clear so what can we do now what we can do is Now in friends, we append again. But what are we appending? We are appending contents of list two. And this time we are appending in friends, not in them. So vulture. Let me just copy it simpler Ultron and Loki Sorry. Ultron and Loki let me just comment all the print statements so you can see what's happening now okay let me clear this so now contents of friends are exactly same as content of enemies So at this current situation, this is what's happening. Enemies. Print M. See, contents of friends is exactly same as content of enemies. And all my friends are currently sitting in them. So how about I now clear enemies and then I append all the friends from them. let me just copy this one I think it's easier when I just write to and then just copy press to so that's Tom and Emily Now let's print all three again. Let me clear this. So what's going to happen now? Friends has all the enemies, the initial enemies. Enemies has all the friends. And temp also has all the friends. So all we now need to do is clear temp. So temp dot clear.
and F5 printed now. All three of them. And let me just comment these ones out. You can see my friends has all the enemy knives which were initially in enemies. My enemies has all my friends' names Peter, Mario, Tom, Emily. And Tem is empty. And this was our challenge. By the end of this challenge, I want my enemies to be my friends and my friends to be my enemies. So all, all my enemies became my friends and all my friends became my enemies. I also don't want anything in temp and temp is empty so guys this was a, a very simple challenge all we used I'll just go through it again so we had two lists one was friends one was enemies and there was one more list with integers in it so first thing we did was we cleared the integer list then we appended all the items from friends in the temp list. Then we cleared the friends list. Then we appended all the items from enemies to friends. Then we cleared enemies. And then we appended all the items from temp to enemies. And then we cleared temp. So this is a very simple way of um, solving this problem and I wanted to show this using list functions. Um, sometimes you will see the same riddle for variables but I just thought it will help us with list functions if we try it and all we, all we did was to use list functions um, which were append clear and if you want instead of clear you could just use pop as well so you would have to pop like four times um, but clear was simple because we are clearing the whole list so I just use clear um, you can use other functions as well from here so guys if you haven't watched the video on list I, I recommend you please watch it and if you like if you're liking these videos and you're liking these challenges make sure you do subscribe to the channel and like these videos show your support and also share them with your friends thank you guys I'll see you in the next video